Hi this is Yasser from WP Hano and in today's video we are going to see how to install WordPress on Bytehost web hosting for free and how can we access WordPress website files and its associated database Basically Bytehost is a child company and it provides free hosting free reseller hosting and premium hosting via their parent company called iFastNet and before using bytehost for installing wordpress using its free hosting plan let's see some of the features that bytehost provides in its free hosting plan first of all it provides cpanel which is very good as it helps you in the management of the web server the company seems to provide unlimited resources like unlimited disk space unlimited databases and unlimited bandwidth but these resources are limited up to a specific limit For example the company in its free hosting plan provides a disk space of up to 5 GB which is fairly enough if you are using this hosting just for practice purposes and it allows to create up to 400 databases which is definitely a very high number and your website maximum upload file size will be restricted up to 10 MBs you would only get just one FTP account and regarding the bandwidth Your website can have up to 50000 hits per day and the number of files also called in nodes you can have on your server are up to 30019 and if you are going to use wordpress then around 2500 files would be of wordpress one other good feature that bytehost provide is softaculous apps installer which can be used to easily install different services like wordpress presta shop whmcs and many more services In short, Bytehost free hosting plan is enough for practicing purposes and for small websites. Now let's see how to install WordPress on Bytehost web hosting for free. First of all, let's sign up on byte.host website. For that, go to byte.host and click on the button saying sign up for free hosting. Here on sign up page, first thing it will ask for the subdomain name. You can use any unique name here and by default most probably your website will be a subdomain of bytehost32.com but you can use any number in place of 32 as mentioned here let's say we choose the subdomain name wp how no after choosing the subdomain name choose a password that will be used as your ftp cpanel and mysql password and after setting the password type in your email address that will be used for verification purposes and it will also receive the links and credentials of your website select a category for website we will go with the default personal category select a language english in our course and in the end write the security code that you are seeing in the image and after filling the required information click on register button Now it is saying that an activation email has been sent to your email address so let's go to email account that we had given for verification to see if the email has been received or not If you can't find the email from bytehost in your primary inbox check in your spam folder Once you find it open the email and click on activation link Now it will create your account and it will take a short time to set up things like your username apache server dns zone and cpanel Once it's done your account has been created and activated Here you can see the details about your account This is your website URL and if you open this URL it will say that your free hosting account has been activated Now if you go to your email account again there will be an other email with all their details along with the credentials of your website Now to install WordPress we will need to log in into cpanel account so from here let's open cpanel link Here enter the username and password for cpanel that you have received in your email and uh, click on login button Here it is asking for permission to send emails to your email address. If you choose to click on I disapprove, you may lose your account. So in order to avoid that, click on I approve button and after that it will redirect you to the cpanel. On the right side you can see the stats of your account like what plan are you using or how many databases you have, how much 
disk space used bandwidth used or daily hits used now let's install wordpress and for that we will use softaculous apps installer as it will help us to install and set up wordpress in minutes so find softaculous apps installer section and click on it here it will give you the options to install different services but as we just want wordpress so we will click on install button that is on wordpress here it will ask for basic information for setting up wordpress like which version of wordpress would you like to install we will go with the latest version for protocol we will just use http as byte host does not provide ssl certificate in its free hosting plan and as we just have one domain so we will select it and here it is asking for the site name which will be your site title in our case it will be wp how now and here it is asking for the site description we will leave it as it is both site name and site description can be changed later from wordpress admin dashboard uh, we don't want multi-site features so we will leave it unchecked and here it is asking for admin username and admin password that will be used to login into your wordpress dashboard so remember these credentials as you will need these to login into your wordpress admin panel for security purposes keep the strength of your password strong so that it is not easy to guess your password here write in admin email address that you want to set and uh, in this section it is giving us options to install some plugins this plugin limit login attempts is a security plugin and it is recommended because it will help you to limit the number of login attempts on your website and if you don't like the wordpress new default gutenberg editor you can install classic editor plugin to deactivate the gutenberg editor and use the old classic editor as we want both plugins so we will check the boxes in front of them now if you click on advanced options tab here it will give you the options to set your database name and table prefix let's say we want our database name to be wb101 and we want every tables prefix to be prefix 101 and here it is giving us options to auto upgrade our wordpress its plugins and themes but for now we don't want to upgrade these things automatically so we will leave this option unchecked also leave the backup location as default after setting advanced options it is asking us to select a theme that we would like to install on our wordpress website but this option is not mandatory as wordpress already comes with some of its own themes so we will not select any of them from here now we are good to go for the installation of wordpress so click on install button now it will take a few minutes for installing wordpress and now you can see that wordpress has been installed on our website to check let's go to the website here is the url of our website so we will click on it and here you can see that our website is running and wordpress has been installed on it successfully and that theme it is using is 2020 theme now to login into wordpress admin area write wp-admin in front of the website name in the url and hit enter this is the wordpress website's admin login page write in the username and password that you had set while installing the wordpress and click on login button after a successful login now we are in the wordpress dashboard area here you can explore all about your wordpress website for example in appearance section you can see which themes are installed on your wordpress and which theme is currently being used and in plugin section you can see which plugins are installed on your wordpress and you can enable or disable the plugins of your choice easily now let's see actually where all of your wordpress files are installed for that once again go to cpanel and find the file section and under it click on online file manager and from here open htdocs folder and this is the folder where all of your wordpress files are installed and here all the files and folders are related to your wordpress and this folder wp-content is very important it will have all of your themes plugins and media files let's open it this folder themes will contain all of your themes and their files 
and uh, all the plugins and their files will be present in plugins folder and uh, all the images and other file that you will upload from your WordPress will be present in uploads folder. All of your website's content like post pages and settings of themes and plugin will be saved in different tables in the database. So now let's see which database is connected with your WordPress website. Once again go to cPanel and find databases section and under databases section click on PHP my admin and uh, this is connected with your WordPress website now to see its tables click on connect now button and uh, here you can see different tables that are associated with your website and store different information based on their functionality like this table prefix 101 underscore post stores data related to your posts and pages and uh, this table prefix 101 underscore users contains information about the users of your WordPress website. So that's all for this video in which we have learned how to install WordPress on Bytehost web hosting for free. We hope you find this video useful and if you really do please hit the like button and share this video and in case of any issues while installing WordPress do let us know in the comment section and we will address your issues and uh, if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel yet please do it by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching